What's going on, on Brown Owl guys? What's up, guys? We're gonna uh, be putting this here high quality unit, dual brand Bluetooth radio, and four speakers in this here old Range Rover. Nothing but the high, high quality, high quality. Alright guys, we're going to be putting this uh, stereo in this truck today. Uh, it's previously had a stereo in it before. Uh, it's already got speakers in it. Uh, everything's pretty much wired up. I just got to tie, tie the new harness in for the, the new radio. It's not a high quality unit, but it will do for uh, $24 at Walmart. It will make sound, and that's all I need. Uh, we're going to see just how good this here thing does sound. Uh, Dual has always been kind of a, you know, low-end Walmart brand, but some stuff's good. I've had some luck with some stuff, uh, but uh, we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna pop this old hood right here, because <sighs> we gotta hook the battery up on this thing. Because if you don't uh, unhook the battery in this truck, it'll run the battery down. And uh, I'm not gonna go into detail as to why it does that right now. Because that is a whole nother episode. And if you're familiar with Range Rovers and Land Rover products in general, you'll know why. That's nice right there. But like I said, it did have a radio in it before. Uh, this is not original truck. This is a 95 model truck. Uh, this would have came out of about a 2004 or 5 model Range Rover P38, I believe. Uh, this would have been a navigation. Uh, I got out of the parts truck, same parts truck I got the dash out of. And uh, it was just in a lot better shape than mine, so that's really the only reason I put it in here. Uh, it does kind of look a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter. All my plastics and shit is all, all cracked and crap, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, but we're gonna get started with this. All righty, let's see what's in this deal. Oh, that's a hell of an owner's, owner's manual. Speakers I don't need. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might have a little something. I might see if we can blow them up. Something. That little deal right there. That's the original boom box right there. We might stick these speakers in there and hook an amp up to them and see what happens. We don't need them. And I guess that's the head unit. Very small, slim design. I don't know about the 200 watt plane. There's our wiring harness. What we got, what we got, what we got. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, I don't know about that 200 watts. see and a whole hell of a lot to it just do it do it all right we're gonna get started on this now i by no means claim to be an electrician i 
And I will tell you right now that this install, some of you are going to hate it. Because I am going to be using electrical tape out the ass. Now, do I care? Not really. Uh, this is a beater truck. And I really don't care to get into splicing and putting butt splices and everything else because I just don't care enough. And trying to figure out my wires previous install. I think there's a connector in here that I unplugged. It's got to be plugged back in. So give me a minute to figure this out and I'll bring y'all back in a minute. Alright guys, I'll show you a quick and dirty way to kind of see what speaker wires or what. Now this really only works on the old school style or if you get one of the one the newer style or not I say newer but I forget the word, but it's like got one wire for a speaker wire and everything else is grounded. But this only works with like a two wire speaker. But just take your battery and uh, touch it to the uh, leads and you'll hear it in the uh, speaker. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's made it make a little static noise. That'll tell you what's what. All right, guys, I got it wired up. Like I said, I'm by no means a damn electrician, and I do not condone this. But like I said, this is the truck that I I do care to some degree about it. But it is a beater. As long as it gets me to damn point A to point B, I don't care. Uh, but yeah, these are I got it all wired, twisted together here, duck and damn electrical tape. So uh, we're gonna roll with it. If you don't like it, I will. Don't know what to tell you. Uh, most everything was pretty much color coded like the old harness was uh, only thing I got left to tie in is a remote wire for an amp if I ever want to add an amp and then uh, I got to dig out my antenna wire somewhere back there not that I listen to damn radio anymore but you know uh, anyway we're just going to plug this dude up and see what it do alright guys I got it installed uh, I mean, it sounds decent. I'm not even gonna try to like turn it up and let y'all hear because it's not gonna make any difference. You'll never be able to hear any kind of sound quality out of it at all. But uh, it, I mean, it sounds good. It could be a touch louder, a little bit more powerful. Uh, the it's got basic functions: bass, treble, balance. Uh, but it, 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 the only my only one other thing that I don't like about it is I do have an amp hooked up to it uh, and it doesn't have a function to set the line level for the uh, amplifier it's just whatever it's doing it's doing so there's no line level for the uh, sub or amp output uh, my only other concern is is the few minutes with me putting it together and getting it back in the dash and everything I had it playing pretty loud and that sucker is super super hot so I to be honest I don't expect it to last very long getting that hot it, it shouldn't and I think a lot of it's got to do with uh, the case size the case is I think maybe an inch and a half two inches deep and uh, they just, I don't believe there's enough heat sink there to dissipate the heat. Uh, I'll try it. I did use my, uh, whatever you call this damn thing, one that was already in here. And it's a lot longer for a traditional uh, head unit that had a CD player, so it's a lot longer. So I'm hoping that maybe that might act as a little more heat sink and dissipate some of the heat better than this one was because that sucker, like it was. It was almost too hot to touch. So, we'll see. It may burn down. I don't know. Uh, but that's about it.
Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we'll see if we can get this YouTube channel off the ground.